The best way for us to gauge the size of the universe is measuring space by light years. A light year is the distance light can travel in one year. The speed of light is the fastest known thing in the universe and as far as scientists know, the laws of physics prohibit anything from exceeding the speed of light. Light zips through space at about 300,000 km per second. It takes 8 minutes for sunlight to reach Earth and 43.2 minutes to reach Jupiter. Light is fast but the distances are vast. A trip at light speed to the very edge of our solar system, the farthest reaches of the Oort cloud, a collection of dormant comets way, way out there, would take about 1.87 years. Keep going to Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighboring star, and plan on arriving in 4.25 years at light speed. Our galaxy is a gravitationally bound collection of stars, swirling in a spiral through space. It probably contains 100 to 400 billion stars and is about 100,000 light years across. Groups of them are bound into clusters of galaxies and these into superclusters. The superclusters are arranged in immense sheets stretching across the universe, interspersed with dark voids and lending the whole a kind of spiderweb structure. The universe is so big because it is constantly expanding and it does so at a speed that even exceeds the speed of light. Currently, scientists are confident with 99% accuracy that the age of the universe is 13.81 billion years. So although the light itself might have only travelled for 13.8 billion years, the distance from us to the point it came from is at present 46 billion light years away. This would make the diameter of the observable universe about 93 billion light years. As time goes by, the age and size of the universe will increase. Since the most distant objects will move away from us at an ever-increasing rate, there is a limit to how much of the universe that we will be able to observe. This limit is called the future visibility limit and is estimated to be around 61 billion light years. Looking beyond the observable universe, we have the unobservable universe. This is the part of the universe that we know exists but will never be able to observe. It may be infinite or finite, but at the moment we do not know. Our best estimations state that the universe is at least 250 times larger than the visible part. If you translate this into a sphere, the diameter will be at least 23 trillion light years. But it may well be very much larger than that. Even if the universe isn't infinite per se, there is a good chance it is practically infinite. This means that some areas might lie so far away from us that we could never reach them even at the speed of light. Considering the accelerating expansion, some areas might simply be mathematically unreachable. We can never interact with them in any way. As it stands today, even if we left right now at the speed of light, we wouldn't be able to reach nearly all of the galaxies throughout space. Only those galaxies within approximately 15 billion light years can be reached today. The unobservable universe together with the observable universe is the actual universe and this universe may be just one of billions of universes. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.